maximum level sum of a binary tree. Given a binary tree, return the smallest level such that the sum of all the values at that level is the maximum. So this is level 1. Notice we are indexing out of 1. So level 1, the sum is 1. Level 2, sum is 7. Level 3, sum is negative 1. So level 2 has the greatest sum, so we return 2. If there are multiple levels that share the same sum, you return the smallest level number. For example, if you have a level 4 that also have sum of 7, you still return 2. Pause the video and see if you can solve it. The title of the question already gives us a clue, which is breath first search. You can also do depth first search, but I'm just going to do breath first search. Breath first search, use a queue that put in the root. The question says the number of nodes is between 1 and uh, another number, so we know the root is valid. That's why I just put in the queue straight away. We can initialize a result, a result level. So this is what we're going to return, and a current level. So the result level is what you're going to return. The current level will increment as you are going down the level. You also have a result sum. This value will come in handy later. In the breakfast search, you are using a while loop that continues as long as the queue is not empty. And let us just increment the current level because the first level is level 1. And here we need to know how many nodes are there in the current level. At level 1, there is one node. At level 2, there is two nodes. At level 3, there are two nodes. How do we know how many nodes are there? It is the size of the queue. So you can just do a for loop. And have a local sum. And keep adding the node value to the sum. In the end, you will update the result if my current level sum is greater than the result level sum, you will update. Else, you stay the same. And also, result sum will be the maximum between result sum and current sum. Right? Now we want to get a hold of the front of the queue and pop the front of the queue. So you do array.shift, which return and pop the front at the same time. If the front of the queue has a left, queue the push left. If it has a right, queue the push. Right, right. And also, you need to update the sum. The reason I use this size, a constant, to represent Q dot length, is because your Q size is constantly changing within here. So you need to pre-calculate the size of the queue. Let's see what we got. Oh, my sum should not be a const. OK. And submit. It's taking a long time. OK, so there you go.